Hi, I'm Luke, and I'm here to talk about John Hancock. He was most famous probably for his signature. If you ever heard the expression, expression like, I, I have a John Hancock signature, it means like you have a big signature because he had a big signature. So this is a picture of him. I don't know where it is, but it could be anywhere. So this is my summary on him. It's his early life and later. My, my project was on John Hancock. John, ha John Hancock was born on January 23rd, 1737 in Braintree, Massachusetts. He was born by Mary Hoff and senior John Hancock. John's dad died, died when he was a child. After the dad died, his mother sent John off to his aunt and his uncle. His uncle was a wealthy merchant. His business was very successful. John attended Harvard College. He graduated in 1754 and working with his uncle. And then later on, he was working with his uncle. John's uncle died, and John inherited all that money that he had. So basically, John became rich. In 1774, was made. In 1774, he was made leader of the of Mass of the continent, the Second Continental Congress. John was still being hunted by a British troop by British troops. John resigned as a president of the Continental Congress. He was also known for his signature and for putting his, his name first on the Declaration of Independence. And then, so I told you this was a picture of him. And then this was my acrostic poem. I did his full name, so John Hancock. So I put John was known for his signatures. Owned a successful business with Samuel Adams. He was born in Barrington, Massachusetts. He never thought that King George was right. He was wealthy. A president of the Second Continental Congress. Never liked the laws King George made. And he was a he was a Continental Congress delegate, and obviously was a patriot. He was criticized for always buying the best stuff, like all the, not like the new stuff, but like the best stuff that they, that there was. And then he knew, he knew that being a governor was hard. So this is my backpack. I like got some things from him. So when I met him in 1770 or something like that. So this is a copy of the Declaration of Independence with his signature on there. This is like ink for like writing because they used ink back then. This is money because he was wealthy. This was an American flag because he was a patriot. So he liked America. And this was a quilt, I think it's called, and so this is what they would write with back then. And then this is a little gun, because most uh, patriots back then probably would carry around a gun just to make sure anything bad didn't happen. And then there is one more thing. This is like a Harvard University sign for like because he went to Harvard. That's all my stuff in my backpack. And then, this is a brochure that I made. So it says, come meet John Hancock. See who John Hancock is and why he is important. Come see John Hancock sign the Declaration of, the, of Independence. See why the Declaration is so important. Watch John Hancock lead the Continental Congress. See what the Continental Continental Congress is and what it did. Give John Hancock's huge signature. See his huge signature, like on the Declaration of Independence. And then if you want to sign up, you can type your stuff in here. I would give him, him, him a, an award for the biggest signature because he probably had one of the biggest signatures back then. And then this is a letter that he wrote to his father. It says, Dear Father, I wanted to say hello and thanks. 
thank you for teaching me to be a good minister. I, I was asked by King George to be governor of Massachusetts. I don't want to, to, to though, because he was making unfair laws. I am also a politician. This job is great for carry, carrying on the family, family tradition of mine. I have one question. How are you doing and how is the minister job going? Love, John Hancock. That was obviously before he died. But I hope you come back for a little time in your little time machine thingy and see John Hancock and many other patriots.